go, go. It's like a secret mission. It's like, when can we fit in a secret boink? Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Parenthood Let's Play. The boys are out here fishing on this bright Sunday morning. As you guys know, if you watched the last part, we are currently um, in Granite Falls. Is that what this place is called? I think it's called Granite Falls. Um, but we're in Granite Falls and we are having a little Christmas trip to a lodge with the frost. So the boys have decided to come fishing this morning, which is pretty cute. They stayed up late playing video games all night, which was kind of hilarious. And it is the day where we are going to be aging up the girls. I asked in the last part if it was okay to kind of off screen cheat up their character values and the overwhelming majority of you guys said it was fine and that it really like I mean I worked I tried to get them as like far as I needed them to be but unfortunately I think the downsides of having that mod was that it changes very drastically whenever you get the you know, when you ask someone for advice. So, I mean, the mod helps a lot because it means it decreases and increases an awful lot, like way more than the regular game. But the problem with that is you can't cancel out of the giving advice thing. So it always has an effect and you can't really stop it from having an effect, unfortunately. So loads of you, including Devin, I think your name is Devin or Divine, I'm not too sure. But you said, do the cheats. I'm interested in seeing what happens. So to give you guys a rundown of what I have done, um, I will actually show you the cheats in case you need it in your game. I mean, my... <laughs> Hold on, let me just move this. I'm gonna move this over here for a second. Okay, so to show you guys the cheats, um, if we go, obviously you have to turn testing cheats on. Mine were already on, but you do have to turn them on. And then if you type in the cheat stats dot set, set stat uh, space and then life, Skill statistic. Let me make sure I get this right. Underscore. Say, for example, you want manners. You can go manners and then it's, hers is at 100 for now. But say if we wanted to decrease it by like two. So we could go to like 98. There you go. And it brings it down by like two. But she's still in like the good range for manners. So that's how you do it. They all work from minus 100, which is obviously the negative, to plus 100, which is obviously the positive. For Iris, I have decided to give her positive manners. She was already in range for that or she was very close to. Her manners have always been good because she does a lot of tidying around the house, such as taking out the trash and doing dishes and all of that good stuff. So her manners have always been very positive positive. Uh, negative responsibility. I didn't change conflict resolution because I felt like it really wasn't in range, so I didn't want to cheat that one. Minus empathy and minus emotional control, which is pretty much what I wanted for Iris. And then Rags is like the total opposite. So Rags was really close, like positive in all of these, so I decided to give her positive in every single one, but she was pretty darn negative in emotional control, and that's a nice twist on being an imaginary friend. I feel like it works quite nicely, because she's still, although she is like a human sim, she's never really had these emotions. As an imaginary friend, she was kind of just always bubbly, and nothing really bothered her, so she's still not used to having all these human emotions running through her so I'm very excited to see what this does um, when we age them up which we are gonna do in this part so I'm gonna have Devon come and we are gonna cook a cake for the girls I think we'll go for a hamburger cake I feel like they might like a hamburger cake so let's go for that <laughs> I love how he's just given up he's like no fishing is too hard I'm gonna let Rory like get on with that he can do what he wants but this is too hard for me so I'm gonna sit and watch the clouds <laughs> But he's still staying outside with his kids, so that's really cute. Where's Abby? What's Abby up to? I have no idea. Oh, look, she's come to speak to her mum while she's baking a cake. I don't know where Abby is. Where's Rags as well? 
Oh, Rags is just sorting herself out for the day. I have no clue where Abby is. I can't really... Oh, she's over here. I do kind of want to fix the girl's relationship. So as Rags, I am once again going to help fix bad relationship with Abby. I'm going to try it. Hopefully... Oh, look, they're saying the table together. You cuties. What the heck? That's adorable. See, both their manners in a good range. Well, it's great. How come she doesn't have a romantic relationship ah. with her? That's weird. We did have a romantic relationship. How very odd that uh, she doesn't have it. Oh, oh, is her conflict resolution? Uh, okay, did that change? Please don't tell me that changed. Oh, her conflict resolution is fine anyway. So we are gonna give her a heartfelt compliment. Did we make that cake? Because we need to put it in the fridge if we did. Oh, I think Devin's still making it. I think it's just bacon in the oven. We're also going to discuss interest. Look, we're not in a negative with Abby anymore. What the heck? That is crazy. I can't remember the last time. Let's bring up an embarrassment childhood moment. Oh, we can't put that away. Well... Put it away for now because we aren't going to celebrate it just yet. We're going to celebrate it this evening for the girlies, which will be quite nice. I kind of like that we're just kind of celebrating it as a family. We're not really inviting any of their friends. We're kind of doing it whilst we're away from the crowd and everything, which is really nice. Rory is killing it. He is like fishing away. What a little ace. I can't believe that angling ace basically but he does need to come use the toilet and he also needs to eat he hasn't had breakfast today so did anyone even make breakfast i wanted rags to make it but i don't think she did devon can you come make breakfast serve brunch let's go for pancakes let's make rory some pancakes because he's pretty darn hungry and i oh, still want you to where's abby gone abby uh, can you stop being mean? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? <sighs> I hate this mean streak. I think it's because... Oh, wait. No, she does... Does she have the mean interaction? Did I give her mean? I feel like she's not a mean person. Why did I give her the mean trait? Oh, man. I did give her the mean one. I clearly wasn't thinking when I gave her that. Because I don't feel like she's a mean sim. Oh well, maybe it's because Abby was annoying me, so I was like, yeah, I want to be mean so I can make fun of Abby, but now it's just like, no, I don't want to be a mean sim. We're gonna tease her a little bit. I don't know if she'll like this though, because we were just mean to her. No, I thought that was like a flirty one, but clearly it wasn't. That's annoying. I thought that was like a flirty one. Give her a smooth apology. Stop being mean to her! Oh my god, you are a terrible human being. Give her a smooth apology. Jeez Louise, what are we going to do with you? There we go. Let's also talk about our dreams. Now our romance is down. That's not good. Come on, you two. I want you to get all cute and adorable. Hopefully. I thought Rags was going to die. I was playing like a little bit off screen because I played last evening off screen and she got hysterical and I was about to pee myself. I was like, please don't die on me, Rags. We got you this far, buddy. You cannot die on me right now. Don't do that. But luckily she survived. We're a-okay. She didn't die on us. It was actually... No, don't ask to just be friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Don't do that. Do not do that. Holy smokes. Right, Rory, you can stop now. You need to come pee and you also need to grab a serving of this. How's everybody else's needs? She's eating, so she's fine. Um, Ice, why don't you come eat as well? You're okay. You two are okay. And Rory is taking care of himself, so... That is fine. Plan to unleash the gerbils. We are like partners in crime. Although we are going to age up today. So we're not going to be able to go through with our plan. Because we're not going back to school. Woohoo! <laughs> no more school for Iris. It's not like she even went anyway. She was such a rebellious child. Like she was 
rally in school. Oh, look at Maxi. He's just out here playing with his ball. Why don't we play fetch with him? We're gonna... Oh, why is he sad? Go cheer him up and also praise him. And then let's play with him. Did he age up? What just happened there? Are you okay, Max? Why did he, like, spin around? Or did he change outfit? He may have changed outfits. That was a little bit weird. I thought he was, like, aging up. I was like, what's going on? Aw, oh, look. Abby and Rags are having a catch-up. I bet these two have missed each other. We need to go hang out with Abby more. I say this like I don't have two parts of this Let's Play left. <laughs> we are going to be doing a very Christmassy part, so we're actually going to invite like the whole family around. That'll probably be part 45. In the next part, I'm probably going to age Rory up. Oh, he might even age Rory up today as well. I'm kind of feeling just aging him up. I also do want to work on his character values, but like I said, we will be, we will be inviting all of the Frost round for a nice Christmas meal together. Oh, and also, I forgot to read this out, but with Backchat, re, re, Remunen, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your username, but the Lodge, the creator of the Lodge that we're actually using watches my videos, which is crazy, and said, what the heck? Thank you so much for using my build, Molly. I'm so honored you are my favorite YouTuber. The pool was there because I wanted to have a hot tub but didn't have the pack, so it's fine you replaced it with the actual one. See, I knew, I knew what you were getting at, but you are so welcome for me using your lot. Like, it was incredible. I literally searched, like, Christmas Lodge, and this was one of the first ones on the most popular page and I can see why because it is so cozy and so warm and I love it so much and thank you for watching my channel I always get really excited when either like custom content creators or builders and things like whose content I'm actually using in my game comment on my videos it's great and that's also why I like shouting out people who's lots I use because I'm not that creative. I rarely build. Although I did do a build video on my channel yesterday. So if you haven't checked that out, you definitely should because it was a good one. I was impressed with myself that I managed to build on a 50 by 50 lot. So if you haven't checked it out, it's very festive. It's very Christmassy. It will get you in the mood for Christmas. So you should definitely go watch it because I'm proud of myself and I always love um, getting comments on build videos because I'm not that confident in my building skill. A missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. Oh my god, that is the worst feeling ever. I remember when I was little, I when Woolworths was still a thing, I have, I'm gonna get him. So I have this bear right here, <laughs> his head, he's called Floppy and you can kind of see why because his head just like, he sits like this, but this is Floppy, he's from Marks and Spencers and he has been my bear, you can see him like wearing out because I legit still cuddle him, um, he's got like a hole in his armpit, he's He's a very worn bear, like all his labels washed off, but this is my childhood bear. I've had him since the day I was born, which is crazy, and um, Floppy has been on a lot of adventures with me, and he actually, he's so worn out, oh my god. Baby, don't do this to me. Stay with me. But um, he's been with me every day of my life. And I took him shopping once. So when I went shopping with my mom, I must have been like two or three at the time. And I took him with me. And we were going through Woolworths. And they used to have, you know, like the electronic doors that kind of open and shut when someone walks through. So we were going through them and somehow I was in a trolley and I dropped him out of my hand. And I think this is why his neck is so floppy, but he was like laying face down on the floor with like the doors like trapping him. And I didn't even notice until like 10 minutes afterwards when we were about to leave the shop and I was like, Where's Floppy? And luckily someone had taken him to the till and handed him in. So thank you to the person who saved little Flopster for me because I would have cried if I had lost him. And I also left him in a hotel room in Mallorca because he fell down the side of the bed and I couldn't find him anywhere 
so they had to post him to me <laughs> afterwards. So I received him like a month afterwards and I was like, floppy. <laughs> so I understand your struggle, Rory. A missing toy is a really big deal for a little kid. Um, keep looking for it. Raises responsibility, lowers emotional control. Play with a different toy. Raises conflict resolution, lowers emotional control. Um, raises emotional control, lowers responsibility. Let's go with play with a different store toy. Oh, that's so sad. I'm like crying because I'm just thinking of all the memories. The mems that I had with Flopster. Oh, look at him. He's doing the dishes. What are his character values at the minute? His conflict resolution is getting up there. Also his empathy and his manners. All our kids have really good manners. That's one thing I'm very glad about. Oh, look, his emotional control. How is that going up from playing? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. What else does he have in here? We'll have him play with some of his toys. He can do that. That's absolutely fine. Go for it, mister. Just sit on the kitchen floor and you, you play with your toys, buddy. You do that. Be proud of who you are. Your mum would be proud of you. She literally still does the same. Devin's one big kid at heart. Look, I told you, she's taking a picture with him. She's like, he's definitely my child. <laughs> he might look like ice, but he is like my kid. <laughs> we are, oh, she's feeling very flirty. Heck yeah, go kiss ice, go for it. Ooh, Devin, how debonair of you. Offer a massage, we could woohoo in the hot tub, but I kind of don't want to do that because our kids are here. So that could be quite awful. We could go woohoo in the closet. Should we do it? I know the kids are here, but this is like a spare room. No one's gonna come in here. We're gonna go woohoo. Let's woohoo with ice. Go, go, go. It's like a secret mission. It's like, when can we fit in a secret boink? <laughs> They're like teenagers again. They're like, come on. Let's do it. We're on holiday. We have to enjoy ourselves. To be fair, two of our kids are outside and then the other two are like the other side of the house. Did you see Ice? He was like, yes. <laughs> He's like, secret blink. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my word. This is awkward. This is so, so very awkward. Rex most definitely just had that conversation. So she's going to go take herself outside and play with Rory because I do not want her hair in that. <laughs> Jeez Louise, what a way to celebrate your kids' birthdays, you know, going out for a secretive boink. She's still playing fetch with him. They've been playing fetch for hours. Oh, she's actually super hungry. I forgot that we didn't have her eat. Let's open this up. You can have some chicken stir fry. Go for it. Go have that and then um, we will start aging these suckers up. Leave that on the floor for Maxi. He might just want to chew it. There you go, Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we stole that off you, but you can have it. Oh, great. Love that. He wheezes like my dog. He just wheezes everywhere. Fred legit wheezes everywhere. Are these two in here? Oh my god, yep. Okay, the kids can most definitely hear that. I haven't done a closet woohoo in so long. It came with get together and I've not done it in ages. I don't really have closets in my house too often, so that's probably why. <laughs> they most definitely had oh my god clearly that was good from uh devon's point of view holy smokes completely satisfied nothing is more satisfying than some nice woohoo and he's feeling pretty confident about it i love you too <laughs> it must have been good. Hey Ice, we'd love to have you join the Renegades. Maybe in his olden days, maybe Ice would have joined it then, but uh, definitely not now. He's a fully grown adult. Just hanging around like a bunch of kids. Why is Abby's camera on here? Abby, come collect your camera. What are you doing? You can't just leave your camera here. We spent like thousands of pounds on that. Which reminds me, I'm gonna have to try and get a DSLR camera. 
because I want to start making like better quality videos. I also want to start doing like more vlog type content yes. in the new year. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out on the Boxing Day sales so I can try and find a cheap DSLR. If you guys have any recommendations for cameras, definitely let me know in the comments for like vlog type stuff. Not like daily vlogging because I already have like my camera, uh, my Canon for that, but for like sit down type of vlogs because I'm going to get like a Rode microphone and everything. We're stepping up the quality in the new year. We're doing it. We're working on the channel, you know? I'm going to step up my editing game. I'm going to try and learn new things. We're, we're stepping up the channel now that I've got myself full time back into it. We're working on things. Right, we are going to open this bad boy and let's add some birthday candles onto it. We are about to age up. Add birthday candles. Everybody, stop, drop and roll. Whatever you're doing, get in here. Everybody, get in here. We are about to celebrate everybody's birthday. Everybody gets to age up. Right, Iris, you are going to make a wish, my friend. Oh, look, Devin's singing to her. <laughs> oh, what you wished for? What did you wish for? I don't know. Oh, look, everybody's celebrating. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I wanted a screenshot. Damn it, I'm going to have to get a screenshot of rags now. Because that is not a good screenshot. <laughs> I wanted one of her, um, oh, and she looks exactly the same. Iris aged up. Look, she has so many new traits. So these are all the reward traits from the character values, which is pretty cool. So she has good manners from having positive manners. She has uncontrolled emotions from having negative emotional control, insensitive from having negative empathy, and irresponsible from having negative responsibility. Irresponsible sims are uncomfortable at work, but ignoring bills and slacking off brings them joy. They may also encounter new situations when at work. <gasps> That's so cool. Insensitive sims are able to question other sims' negative emotions. They can also instigate other sims. Insensitive sims will have a higher chance of failing socially when talking to sims with bad emotions. So they literally just spill their guts. They have zero filter. Sims with uncontrolled emotions won't be able to re relieve their negative emotions as fast as other sims. When they have a strong ne negative emotions, they may have an emotional meltdown. <laughs> and good manners. Sims with good manners won't want to do any gross manners interactions, at least not in front of anyone. <laughs> in front of your significant other, you're allowed to burp. In front of anyone else, no thank you very much. They also have new polite introduction and can gain friendly relationships faster. Good mannered sims will can also offer gratitude to the host of a house they are visiting. That's so cool. I like how Rags is just taking a selfie in front of her. That's so funny. Um, and then let's add some more birthday candles and we're gonna have Rags age up. I wanna get a screenshot. I need to get this. This is gonna be the thumbnail of this part. <laughs> Gotta get my thumbnails in there, guys. You know how it is. You know how being a YouTuber is. Well, some of you might. Not everyone might. But I know how being a YouTuber is. We got to get those thumbnails wherever we can. And this is a great one. <laughs> okay, come on, Rags. Add in some more candles. Don't, every, don't anyone eat it. Okay, thank God. They didn't. Right, we're going to have her blow out the candles and have everybody celebrate with a little Ragsy too. Go on, Rags. You blow out those candles. Oh my god, no, I'm not taking a screenshot of that. That is horrendous. And Rex has aged up. Oh shoot, I didn't pick a trait for Iris. I just got too invested in reading her traits. Don't worry, I will add a trait on for her. We are going to pick a trait for Rex. So she is creative, she is cheerful. And I also want to make her... We'll make her neat. 
good manners. So Sims with good manners, we already read that one. Compassionate. Compassionate Sims can help other Sims relieve their negative emotions. They can also empathize with them by sharing emotional burdens. However, these Sims get stressed when being mean. Mediator Sims have a higher chance at successfully apologizing to other Sims and can mediate the forums. They can also mend differences with sims they have not been friendly with for a long time. Responsible sims perform better at their jobs and can teach children and teens how to be responsible and uncontrolled emotions. Sims with uncontrolled emotions won't be able to relieve their negative emotions as fast as other sims. Oh yeah, because she had uncontrolled emotions. So that's cool. The girls are both aged up, which is awesome. Rags looks exactly the same. And then let's add another birthday candle on so we can quickly age up Rory. So we're going to have him come make a wish. And then I am going to end this part after he has aged up. So here he goes. Go on, Rory. You make that wish, dude. Oh, he's so happy that he managed to blow them out. Oh, Rory has been removed from League of Adventurers. What is your hair? Why have you aged up with that? He is a goofball. I actually do see him as being like the class clown. So I want to have him become a joke star. So he's a goofball and I also want him to be... What do I want him to be? Childish, perhaps? Yeah. Because his mum is also childish. I don't know what that hair is, boy, but we are obviously going to change it. He is cute, though. He looks a lot like Ice. He kind of has Devon's, like, cheeks, but he definitely mainly looks like Ice. He has chubbier cheeks than Ice did, but he looks a lot like his dad. So, guys, that is the end of this part. That's where I'm going to round it up. So, thank you all so much for watching. That was, like, birthdays galore. We had so many birthdays, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Also, let me know if you want me to do a roundup episode. So, it's probably not going to be part 45 because I want that to be the big Christmas episode, but I will go into the future, like maybe a week after I've ended this, and kind of do like a roundup like I did with City Living and kind of look at the family and where they are now. So, definitely let me know if you want to see that. But thank you all for watching, and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys!